Hello everyone and welcome back and this will be your weekly general reading for the sign of Taurus for the week of July 14th and I would like to give a very special thank you to all of you who have been subscribing to my channel and helping it grow and getting it noticed and sharing and for subscribing and all the thumbs up on all the videos that you've watched and the lovely comments. Thank you very much for doing that. It is greatly appreciated. And the first card out is the Four of Cups. Well, that's what jumped. So you're meditating. You're taking a time out. You're disconnecting from your surroundings this week to take a good hard look at what your next endeavor is going to be in your life. Whether it's travel, investments, work, home life, family, children. You have it and now you're content and happy with it but you want that something else and you're trying to put your finger on exactly what it is that you're searching for. All right and the devil so yeah you're kind of stepping out of the shadows you know you're starting to understand why it is the way it is for you you know what's happened in your past why you believe so strongly in some of the things that you do and understanding that it's not necessarily your beliefs it's what has been handed down to you and you've just sort of hung on to it but you're starting to see a different way of doing things and seeing things so you're understanding you need to step out of this break the chain start just you understanding what it is that you want you know putting up your boundaries avoiding people, places, and things that don't serve you, and walking your own path now and showing your light. And the three of rods, yeah, you're definitely making progress. You're, you have such a foresight of what it is that you want in your life and what you want to bring into your life. So you're now putting your feelers out there. You know, you put your boats out to sail, you're taking opportunities when they knock at your door and you're on good solid ground. You have a good home sound foundation and you realize that, but you're still lusting for more in your life. For some of you, you may be thinking of taking a trip. And the nine of cups. So there it comes. Wish fulfillment, a true connection and commitment something that you have wanted for a while and it's going to flood you with emotions this could be money this could be a reconnection you get to buy or purchase or receive something that you have always thought about or dreamt about and all of a sudden it sort of shows up at your door so wow nice card and the five of swords and yeah you get to finally not only have the winning personality at it, you get to stop the silliness in your life. If there's been somebody trying to tell you or coerce you into doing something or um, follow their way of thinking, you get now to stand there and say, nah. And not that you wouldn't anyhow, because that's who you are. You will stand your ground when people are not being nice or kind to you. And the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're definitely releasing things from your life. You're putting up clear boundaries. You're being very direct in what it is and isn't that you're allowed to accept into your life. You're very clear-minded about this and people are going to be, in many cases, quite surprised that you are actually not only saying but acting on what it is that you want in your life. It's hard for them as people that have gotten away with things for so long for you to say no more. And the Five of Cups. Yeah. Yeah, there's been some regrets and disappointments. That's normal of life. And there's even been some losses. And you're spending this week almost grieving it in a way. Like, 
having remorse over, you know, maybe the way things were handled or what was said or done or whatever it happens to have been for you. But you're also realizing that that is part of life and it's part of your past. So you can let it go now and move forward in a different direction. Start again, you know, pick up the remaining cups that are still full and head out again. And the Six of Rods, yeah. Definitely getting public recognition for all that you've not only made in your life and succeeded at, but what you've accomplished and from where you came from to accomplish what you have. So that's a very nice feeling, you know, and you're okay with accepting it. You know, if people are need to realize what it is that you've sacrificed and where, what it is you have gained so that they have a different perspective of who you are. And the Nine of Pentacles, yeah, you are definitely enjoying the fruits of your labor. You're rewarding yourself. If there's something that you have been thinking about purchasing or going somewhere, you know, you're doing it. But you're doing it for yourself because it's something you want. You know, your finances are in good financial standing. You have your own independence. You're okay with going solo. And that's surprising to a lot of people. You know, and some of them, they're almost afraid that that's the way you'll stay. And you may, because right now you're actually enjoying what you have accomplished in your life. Ooh, surprise. Page of Cups. Wow, isn't that sudden coming in? Now, this could be a um, good news about a romance. You know, new relationship coming in, a friendship that's turning into a little bit more. Something that you sort of thought of, but then brushed it off because, well, you know, it is what it is. Childhood romance, you know, all that. But you're starting to realize that this person has felt the same way about you and they're actually saying it. You know, boy, if we'd have got together years ago, you know, that sort of answer and you're quite taken back by it. Happily, but still surprised. And the hair font. Yeah, getting out from underneath somebody else's thumb. Finding your own independence, your own path. You know, you're setting up your own social rules for your comforts of what it is that you want. You've forgiven the past. You put up boundaries. You know, you have much more wisdom and you're trusting yourself finally. You know, you haven't done that for a while. You've just sort of let so much information filter into your life is what's made you make your different decisions, but no more. This is the week that you start to do what it is you want to do for yourself. And that's where you're headed. Oh, yes, and for sure. There it is. The chariot. For some of you, you're taking a trip. You're making sure that your vehicle's in good running condition. Everything's up to power before you do it. And off you go. You're moving forward. You're taking those steps on things and dreams that you've had for a very long time but never acted on. And going forward, you're setting yourself free. You're in full control of what's moving forward in your life. You know, you're healing yourself. You're understanding where you're headed to. And surprisingly to the rest of the world, here you come. To yourself, you knew you were always there. You just never really stepped into that power position, but now you are. You're master of your emotions and you're moving forward. Ooh, and the lovers. So taking that choices, moving forward. Now this can be in a partnership, a career, something that really, you know, sparks the heart. And for many of you, this is a partnership, moving in together, some cases even getting married. You know, somebody that you're very passionate about. And you are made that choice probably a while ago, but you've never really taken action on it. This is the week that you're taking action on it. Like I said, you could be getting married, you know, going off to Las Vegas and getting married and coming back and say, hey, 
you know, meet my wife, that sort of thing. But there is some really big excitement for your relationships here this week. All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel or card. But yours are all about movement, standing your ground, love for sure. And I really like that. All right. I bring you a message from your deceased loved one. I am happy and at peace, and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you again next week. Bye for now.